Hi, welcome to, to this Arc Linux B machine. Let's do a fun tutorial. Many people show off with their screenshots when they have a cube. Can Plasma have a cube? Like, for instance, also in Compass? Yes. And it's all there, it's in out of the box, it's um, okay, it's easy if you know what you're doing. So let's set it up. System settings. Then, I must say, of course, it always depends on your hardware. So we have a lot of desktop behavior things we could discuss, but I'm just sticking to one thing at a time. So you can go over all these elements and in here somewhere you'll find cube. Now, if you have the time, if you want to navigate through them anyway, you can just check them out. But there's desktop cube animation and there's desktop cube or cube or you type search, which is faster. So desktop cube, you have a movie if you want to watch how it works. Display each virtual desktops on a side of a cube. Great, done. That's all you need to do actually. You could go in and say, okay, opacity, we're gonna change this or that. Reflection, but this is of course something you need to know. How do I start the cube? Control F11, we keep that in mind, Control F11, okay. That's closed. Now, it took me a while to figure it out, but it's common sense. Display each virtual desktop on a side of a cube. How many sides does a cube have? Virtual desktop. Oh yeah, remember, plasma. Apply the button down to the right. Completely forgot about it. Apply. Virtual desktops, you can't make a cube of one desktop. So number of desktops, number of rows. If you say four, then we can make a cube. Now, if you, let's apply, let's apply. One, two, three, four desktops we have now. But I think it's a bit long, this line down here. So I say number of rows, two, apply. Which makes a little bit more workable, I think, right? So since we have now four virtual desktops and we have it activated, let's see if, I think it was Ctrl F11, don't really use it that much. And that's, that's this one, this is the cube. And as you can see, I have developed already some kind of logo in the top and at the bottom. So that's the only practical only thing I've done to just make it a little bit nicer so this is your cube and now you can try out and then make screenshots from it and lots of other things. So I'm going to leave you discover all the settings that are in there. So again, go to cube and see what else is possible for you. Desktop cube animation, animate desktop switching with a cube, etc. So all the settings are here. You just need to navigate to them and, and analyze them and read them and try them out basically. All right, fun with your cube.